They're the frightening funny men from our childhood that made us never want to visit the circus. <laughs> Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 scariest clowns of film and television. I'm um, really afraid of clowns. While clowns were traditionally designed to be silly slapstick characters, for this list, we're looking at the most terrifying takes on these costume jokers that left enough of an impression on us that they're still haunting our nightmares. Number 10, Clown or Violator, Spawn. Master and I are gonna have words. He knows I hate clowns. God, I hate them. I hate them all. What's worse than having to be a servant to the devil himself? Having this guy guiding your way. Hang on. These flashbacks can be killers. After being betrayed by a colleague, Al Simmons is assassinated. See you in hell, Al. He arrives in hell, where he's recruited by Satan as a servant for Armageddon a role he accepts in exchange for his being returned to Earth. Upon his return, he's met by the Violator, who is actually a demon hell-bent on leading Spawn on a path of evil destruction. The name of the people and things of hell I dubbed thee, Spawn! However, he's taken on the form of a portly male with ominous clown-inspired face paint and murderous tendencies, who can hold his own against Hellspawn or at least will most certainly try to. Play dead! <laughs> Number 9. Horny the Clown, Archie Benjamin, drive through. Hi, I'm Horny the Clown. Welcome to Hellburger. Would you like to try our jalapeno cheesy sticks? They're only 99 cents with any order. In this 2007 horror comedy, hungry teens are stalked by a fearsome and sadistic fast food mascot. Order up, fuck! With an intercom for a mouth. You want fries with that? And a passion for exacting revenge on those who harmed him in the past. Horny is the embodiment of demonic possession in a form so frightening that Ronald McDonald would tremble with fear. I see that! Welcome to Horny's Fun House! You want to tell our you to have a fun With several unforgettable and creative ways to dispatch his victims. This is one crazed clown you'll want to avoid the next time you have a craving for fast food. Fast food kills, f***er. Number 8. Clown Zombie, Zombieland. Of course. It had to be a clown, f This film chronicles the adventures of several survivors of a zombie apocalypse with the perfect combination of humor and terror. Which coincidentally is the best thing about Zombieland. A showdown at an amusement park with a mob of the undead leaves our unfortunate hero with the choice to either face his clown phobia or become just another snack. Time to nut up or shut up. As if clowns weren't scary enough. Though this makeup wearing walker's appearance is short lived, there's no denying he leaves an impression that makes carnivals a place you'll always want to steer clear of. <laughs> Number seven, clown or the laugh, amusement. Hello, it's Tabitha, the Carmine's niece. <laughs> in this slasher flick, a babysitter encounters a clown in her aunt's home that has a few tricks up his sleeve. Boys, listen to me, we have to hide. There's a bad man, a very bad man in the house. He just wants to play. No, don't! But Tabby, he said he just wanted to have some fun. <laughs> In an already creepy room full of clown paraphernalia, this life-sized doll is more than meets the eye as he kills people in his search for revenge. <laughs> With a menacing laugh and the pure joy he finds in both stalking and murdering his victims, this serial killer certainly chose a costume that reflects his horrific nature. What with his blood red hair and clown nose, all while keeping us on the edge of our rocking chairs. I'm looking right at it. Tabitha. Number six, 
Crazy Joe Dravola, Seinfeld. Black tie, Baleachi, the great clown, the great sad, tragic clown like you. He's one guy that proves not all clowns are happy or tragic. Some clowns are just nuts. Nice Make us laugh, face. clown. Yeah. Nice face, <laughs> clown. Make me laugh, clown. <laughs> Angry at Jerry because he allegedly put the kibosh on his NBC deal and sad because Elaine dumped him. You're not leaving. <laughs> Joe Davola lets his mental problems get the better of him and lashes out at the people he thinks have wronged him. Oh, there's that clown again. What does he want from me? Look, I'm serious. I'm not kidding. I don't have the core. That guy took it. I don't want any money. Dressed as the saddest clown, Pagliacci, Crazy Joe shows up at a performance of the opera to get his revenge. He's one clown you don't want to meet in a dark alley. Are you still scared of clowns? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Number five, clowns Killer Clowns from Outer Space. How are we supposed to get in and see the show? When a race of evil aliens that resembles clowns lands on Earth, their bloodlust for human flesh, combined with sweet and creative ways of killing their victims, are the stuff of nightmares. Oh, pizza. Whether they're wrapping their prey in cotton candy-like cocoons or using puppets to lure them into their hands. This cinematic take on clowns is simply terrifying. What are you gonna do? Knock my block off? <laughs> We'd hate to see what their home planet looks like. These clowns and their circus-inspired killing spree, paired with their deadly extraterrestrial powers, make them unforgettable horror fuel that will keep you up at night. Don't worry, they. All we want to do is kill you. Number four, clown doll, poltergeist. When a family believes some nasty spirits haunt their house, they enlist a team of parapsychologists to help them discover the meaning behind these restless ghosts. But they only do this after they experience intense demonic happenings including an already creepy toy clown coming to life to terrorize the kids of the home. Seriously, why would anyone stay in a house after this? The evil clown doll becomes a true monster under the bed, and this memorable scene made us all fear even the most harmless looking toys in our closet. No more. Number three, the Joker, Batman and the Dark Knight. Me Joker. This iconic comic book villain is Batman's arch nemesis. And although portrayals have changed throughout his many incarnations, the clown prince of crime remains one badass funny man you don't want to mess with. That luscious tan, those ruby lips and hair color, so natural, only your undertaker knows for sure. <laughs> His chaotic mannerisms and unpredictable behavior, combined with a menacing grin and homicidal tendencies, make him the perfect adversary to the cool demeanor of the caped crusader. Well, you look nervous. Is it the scars? We've narrowed down the Joker's most terrifying big screen depictions to the memorable performances by Jack Nicholson in 1989's Batman. <laughs> Boo! <laughs> as well as the equally disturbing 2008 interpretation by the late Heath Ledger in The Dark Knight. I believe whatever doesn't kill you simply makes you a stranger. Whichever you prefer, there's no denying the Joker is one of the scariest clowns to ever grace the silver screen. It's not about money. It's about sending a message. Everything burns. Number two, Captain Spaulding, House of a Thousand Corpses, and The Devil's Rejects. Howdy, folks. You like blood, violence, and freaks of nature? Well, then come on down to Captain Spaulding's Museum of Monsters and Mad Men. <laughs> In the first of these exploitation horror flicks, we meet a gang of backwoods murderers whose sadistic method of torture killing is as brutal as it is terrifying. <laughs> 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 
as the owner of a local gas station and proprietor of the Museum of Monsters and Mad Men. Captain Spaulding is the architect of the film's bloodshed and carnival of horrors. And with just the right amount of intimidating and endearing insanity, he is one crazy clown we love to be scared of. I stutter, bitch. Thanks to his ability to lure in unsuspecting victims with his unsettling charm, he is also a roadside attraction you'll want to avoid on your next road trip. What's the matter, kid? Don't you like clowns? Why? Don't we make you laugh? If you ain't got a reason why you hate clowns, I'm going to kill your whole f***ing family. All right, now get your f***ing ass out the car. Come on. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Shit. Woo. Before we reveal our top pick, here are some honorable mentions. Their faces like painted nightmares. Sure, as anything real, they would find him. It was kind of like they were already inside of him. Number one, Pennywise, It. Hi, Georgie. Aren't you going to say hello? From the twisted mind of Stephen King comes this fearsome clown with a taste for children that has haunted our dreams for decades. See you in your dreams. Oh, come back anytime. Bring your friends. A sewer-dwelling monster with the ability to morph into whatever you are most afraid of, Pennywise uses frightening intimidation techniques to keep your heart racing before making you his next meal. You all taste so much better when you're afraid. With a set of spiky teeth and a tendency to appear in storm drains, this is one clown you never want to meet. I'll show you how to flow down here. They all flow. Performed to perfection by Tim Curry, this TV adaptation's terrifying take on killer clowns is as scary as they get, and is guaranteed to keep you frightened for years to come. Get out! Last chance, told ya. Get out! Get out! What is that? Do you agree with our list? Which scary clowns keep you up at night? For more horror and movie entertainment top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. Come on, Kiwi. Everybody's waiting. Well, okay.